precious father we worship you and we adore you lord holy spirit we acknowledge your presence thank you for giving us this time once again to be transformed by your word help us lord to receive as your word and not man's word we thank you in jesus name i want to talk to you about fruit bearing in the kingdom but as before i go for that i would like to bring to your memory what we have already seen in the past is always good to remember the original purpose of god is to extend his heavenly kingdom to earth that's the original intent and plan of god we should know the basics bring his kingdom to earth for his kingdom to rule on earth that is his original plan now in order to accomplish this plan he decided to do it through his family of sons so he created man in his own image and in his own likeness to do that work and that scripture is a very important scripture with that we read in genesis chapter 1 verse uh, 25 26 says we don't have to just read it you know that he created man in his own image that they may <clears throat> rule take authority let us make was 26 let us make man in our image and according to our likeness and let them have dominion i want you to please make a note or circle around those words let us make man you can circle around us let them rule can you see that where we come in the ruling part is ours let them have dominion let them rule but let us create them interesting that uh, psalm 115 verse 16 the heaven even the heavens are the lords but the earth he has given it to the children of men can you see that heaven is the place where god rules and god has given the earth for rulership by his children so he created adam so the strategy god uh had was to fill his children with the holy spirit to do the job that they may have connection with heaven that they may stay connected with heaven through the holy spirit that they may rule and have dominion over the earth Now if we do not know these things we cannot appropriate well with the things that God is after right now what is God doing now has he changed his plans has he changed his purposes no God is in his work of restoration bringing man and everything back to the original intent and plan and per- place 
the purpose for his creation only then that we can appreciate the hand of god what he is doing right now or else we will just be buried in religion so the assignment god gave to his children is to dominate the earth rule the earth and everything in it and to subdue and i want to say we have heard many servants of god say that and that's the truth and i would like to say again all the basic foundations very mainly with the first three chapters of genesis you got to chew that every scripture every word you see how the kingdom was given the authority was given the creation and how the snake came in satan spoke through the snake and then the fall and what happened and how the promise was given that the deliverer will come the seed of the woman talking about jesus christ so you have to master those three chapters very specially over and over and that's just a advice now the fall of man is not a fall from his um uh, heavenly realm no he did not fall from heaven but he fell from rulership he fell from his assignment that was given by god he fell from his dominion which he received from god he lost the kingdom and lost his rulership now the purpose and the goal of god's redemption the redemptive plan of god is to restore everything back to his original state where man fell from the things were placed even the creation all creation is waiting for the revelation of the sons of god the bible says in romans 8 so now the times of restoration is taking place god is at work and fair enough we are not just called to attend something called service any time we gather no we are here on business now we are learning about the things of the kingdom that we may find our place in the kingdom of god doing our work our part in the overall vision god has given cooperating co-laboring with god what a privilege what a blessing brother the purpose of life you should have the destination you should know where you are going so man did not fall from heaven he fell from his assignment so god is restoring back man to his original state now we know that through a man called abraham god chose a nation israel and he uh declared to them revealed to them his purpose and his plan still holding on to the original intent go with me to exodus chapter 19 okay exodus 19 <clears throat> is talking about uh the kingdom of god and he's talking their position over there in the kingdom exodus 19 um 4 and 5 you have seen what i did to the egyptians and how i bore you on eagles wings and i brought you to myself now therefore if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people for all the earth is mine 
and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation these are the words which you shall speak to the children of israel god said i have chosen you people to be a kingdom of priests interceding doing business with god ruling with god see he's talking about the kingdom now even though it was lost through adam now as we read the history down through people rebelled against god's covenant and uh, so many times god had to just let them go in their own will and their enemies ruled over them and later on they will cry and they will repent and then you know and uh, god had mercy on them brought them back from captivity and of course he provided for them deliverers like gideon like samson like david like samuel lots of them but again when that man died they went back again to their old life uh there was a time that there was no king and god was only their king and he spoke through those whom he chose and guided his people and protected them from their enemies and there came a time the people of god just started looking around the other people of the world and then they you know just they started to say we want a king like the other nations and that grieved the heart of god first samuel they rejected god the father first samuel chapter 8 verse 6 and 7 and the lord said to samuel heed the voice of the people in all that they say to you for they have not rejected you but they have rejected me that i should not reign over them according to all the works that they have done since the day that i brought them out of egypt even to this day with which they have forsaken me and served other gods so they are doing to you also samuel was worried and god had to tell him samuel they have not rejected you they have rejected me from reigning over them meaning resulting in rejection of the kingdom rulership they said no no we just want to have our own kingdom we just want somebody to rule over us can you see that so god gave them started to give them kings starting with Saul we all know that now when god sent his son jesus christ to announce to them the arrival of the kingdom of god see we have to understand that god's priority his focus is always on the kingdom of god everywhere we read that it's the kingdom of god that is that solves all the problems for all the nations all the peoples with the different tongues what man needs now is the rulership of the kingdom of god so god sent jesus his son to announce the arrival of the kingdom of god and to make pre- people prepared for that so in order to do that of course and jesus will have to first pay the price for the sin of the world which is rejection of god going on their own will each one had gone on our own way 
you remember john the baptist he said you looking at jesus he said behold the lamb of god who takes away the sin singular of the world not sins sin what is the sin of the world the sin of independence living by ourselves not depending on god neglecting him or rejecting him there came the problem so jesus had to shed his innocent blood on the cross pay the price the penalty for the sins for all the people on earth the humanity the whole humanity and break the power of death break the authority the devil had over those who had been blinded by him who bore the nature of the first man adam the nature of the devil the sinful nature and though by believing in jesus christ god considered that they were righteous gave them a new heart and a new spirit and he gave them even the holy spirit to them reconnecting them with the kingdom of god reconnecting them with the heaven so the cross was necessary the cross was a means to the kingdom not the end it was a door into the kingdom of god so important for us all what jesus did on the cross everything was done to get people into the kingdom of god the good news is the kingdom of god that itself is the kingdom of god the good news the good news of the kingdom many people going for evangelism and all that they say well we just going for to Uh, proclaim the good news we're going to preach the good news but what is the good news most of the time they don't preach the kingdom they don't proclaim the kingdom for kingdom of god is the answer to all man's problems that's the answer so when jesus came he uh, announced everywhere that the kingdom has arrived and before that the forerunner john the baptist he preached the same thing in fact after he preached jesus said the same words what john said same john said repent for the kingdom of god has arrived or near and jesus came in mark first chapter repent for the kingdom of god has arrived same message <laughs> brothers and sisters see down through the road down through these ages and these years how the church has deviated from the message is only one message the kingdom of god jesus never preached on deliverance he never preached on healing no he never even preached about born again experience he was speaking about that to nicodemus after i was <laughs> when it was dark one to one he never told the disciples to go and then preach about born again no he told them to go and preach the kingdom of god has arrived see we need to see what god requires what is it god is speaking to us and just stick to it and that's it like children you just receive the word 
And somebody said, honestly, I, I, the Bible is so simple, you can just study yourself and then get it. You need actually help to misunderstand. Some of you didn't get that. <laughs> so Jesus preached about the kingdom everywhere he went. He told the disciples to preach. And then afterwards, the church preached. The early church. Paul, the apostle, preached the kingdom. Stephen preached the kingdom. Philip preached the kingdom. So, uh, we need to get back to the basics. So that we can bring forth fruit to, into, as we live in the kingdom, the fruit bearing in the kingdom. Now, in John chapter 15, that very uh, prominent scriptures, 15, 16, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. Did you see that word go? <laughs> that you should go and bear fruit. You're going to bear fruit as you go. See, the call of the Christian is actually is on the move. As another person said, most of the time the churches are like cars parked in a parking lot. God cannot guide the, those churches because you cannot, you cannot turn a parked car. Only when they are moving, you can turn. So, fruit bearing in the kingdom of God. And Jesus said, I have chosen you to bear fruit and that you should, that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give to you. Now the question is, you have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ? Praise the Lord. Your heart has been changed. Maybe you remember the date of your salvation. Now salvation is not static. You don't stay in one place. The path of the righteous, it's a path. It's as a shining sun, a noon sun, getting brighter and brighter and brighter. We cannot say I got saved in 1985 and then just remain as a church attender. Unfortunately, many are like that. And then they, they, they seek God or they get near God or they just use the name of Jesus just to get the problem solved. Something to receive. But we are not about the father's business. We are not bearing fruit in the kingdom. Tell me what is the fruit that you are bearing in the kingdom. Cause the character fruit over there. But then I am speaking about the fruit bearing connected with your calling. Connected with the plan God has for you. Oh my God, you are so special. So specifically, God planned your birth and mine and, and, and had revealed line after line, precept after precept. Here a little and there a little, God had been teaching you. What for? Knowledge? The Bible says knowledge gives you pride. Now, Talking about the fruit bearing in the kingdom. When Jesus came and preached the good news of the kingdom. And he proclaimed. Preach means to proclaim, to declare, to shout. To let them know everyone. Hey, the kingdom of God is here. Because that is the answer to all the problems. Individuals, collective people, nations, 
to the whole earth now matthew chapter 11 when uh, john the baptist while he was in prison he was probably attacked in his mind and uh, he wanted to know whether jesus was the real person or you had to wait for somebody else <laughs> can you see that even today it really shudders me for john heard the voice of god from heaven while he was baptizing jesus and the voice said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased and john witnesses i saw the spirit of god descending like a dove on him as is was told by the father through the spirit and he doubted see so don't worry if doubts come in here and there stand on the word of god go to jesus go to the word of god john sent two of his disciples to jesus you better get back to the word this is the written word of god jesus is the living word you got to soak yourself into the word of god sending your roots into the word of god blessed is the man who meditates in the word of the lord day and night read it, meditate chew it eat it so when 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 these people came and they you know they said to you know we have been sent by john and then we want to know and they are asking whether you are the person or we have to look for another one matthew chapter 11 verse 4 jesus answered and said to them go and tell john the things which you hear and see the blind see and the lame walk the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear the dead are raised up and the poor have the good news preached to them what is the good news the kingdom of god go and tell him these are the things happening now what we read just above is all those things the fruits of the kingdom the fruits that that come out by preaching of the kingdom deliverance healing health wholeness light revelation authority peace connection with god everything everything comes through the the kingdom of god so jesus was speaking about the fruits that the kingdom of god will bring forth okay now uh, again matthew chapter 10 i want to show you there what uh, they should be doing as they go preaching uh matthew 10 uh verse 6 but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of israel jesus sending his disciples and as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand can you see that actually says the kingdom of god has drawn near okay he's telling them you know he is not allowing them to have their own guests now he is sending us what are we to preach what are we going to say are we going to say well this jesus of nazareth is the son of god no he never told them to preach about him did you see that he never said go and say that so and so is born and 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 a king has been born you people do not know and go and tell them that i am the son of god no he never said that he said go and preach that the kingdom of god has drawn near that's the message that is the message that's the message the nations need to hear and uh, so as and after saying that heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out demons freely you have received freely give can you see that 
the fruits of the kingdom the effects of the kingdom or whatever you want to call it the kingdom will produce fruits when we take it in the right manner it will bring forth fruit for it's called the kingdom of god the kingdom belongs to god but he is all out with all his heart prepared to share his kingdom with his children that we may rule with him throughout eternity now do you know the word of the kingdom as you are hearing please listen as you are hearing these words you may hear my voice through the speakers okay but the word of god has got so much a power it can get any darkness that is hiding within you it may just go inside and unlock any chain any any bondage that you have been struggling with as i said you know one man came oh it's a several this is one of those things that happens one man came long time with 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 the, he couldn't get himself delivered from the bondage to alcohol and he was about to commit suicide and he came and then I was giving the word on sunday and afterwards the desire went to me he got delivered no one prayed for him why the power of god's word he sent his word and healed them some 10720 Now so we need to bring forth for children please hear the words I am asking you are in the kingdom okay you know that the kingdom is in operation now what are you doing in the kingdom what are the fruits that you are bringing forth And there came a time that they were rejecting Jesus the people of Israel only the poor and the simple people they accepted his teaching and they received him but the others the majority they rejected him that who is he i mean they could only see his just humanity oh he's so and so son mary's son oh we know his sisters we know his brothers were here we know joseph he was a carpenter okay what is it i mean is he says saying that he's another prophet well, what does he say i mean who is he so they were stumbling they got offended so there was a time came if you turn to matthew the book of matthew okay i don't know where these words are falling into the hearts over here even it's going to as the the message is being taped let me say this you are not hearing these words by accident no no one hears the word of god for the first time by accident second time 100% no third time oh i i don't know how to say it over 100% and what about fifth and sixth and tenth and 50th time god has got something to tell you and he's coming to you to him more is given much is required I know that there are people in villages they have not heard the name of Jesus once. I know that they do not know one scripture. I know that even some people may have seen Jesus hanging on a cross on a on a just on a picture but they have no idea anything whatsoever. So the Lord is asking you this evening what are you doing with the message of the kingdom? what are you doing and what are you doing paul said woe unto me if i do not preach the gospel he declared of woe i am done if i do not preach the gospel the responsibility has fallen on every believer you have to produce the fruits of the kingdom for the kingdom of god has come within you if you are born again if you are baptized in the holy spirit let me say the kingdom is within you 
Wherever you go, the kingdom comes with you. Whenever you pray according to the will of God, the kingdom begins to operate. This is nothing to do with religion. This is nothing to do with churchianity. Or even church. This is everything to do with God's kingdom. His ambassadors. It's cabinet ministers. The citizens of heaven. The new creation of God. According, according to the order of the second man. The resurrected Jesus Christ. The God man. So Matthew chapter 21. As you were speaking to those uh, uh, people who were actually all the time rejecting his word. During those three and a half years of ministry. Read that. I want to just read that to you. Matthew 21 verse 42 and 43. Jesus said to them. Have you never heard read in the scriptures. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in your eyes. Therefore I say to you the kingdom of God will be taken from you. And given to a nation bearing the fruits of it. Can you see that? Brothers and sisters. If the kingdom of God could be taken from the people of Israel. And Jesus warning them. For time and again they rejected his word. And telling them. The kingdom of God. Will be taken from you. And given to a nation. Producing the fruits of it. What is that nation. That received the kingdom of God. It's called holy nation. Peculiar people. The church of God. First Peter chapter. Chapter 2. Can you see that? You know, in chapter 19, verse 14 and 15, I would like to read that to you. Jesus standing before the Pilate. Okay? And uh, asking certain questions, and when he mentioned something about King Jesus, opened his mouth. And uh, here we see chapter 19, verse 14. Now it was the preparation day of the Passover and about the sixth hour. And he said to the Jews, behold your king. But they cried out, away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to him, shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, we have no king but Caesar. Then he delivered him to them to be crucified. So, he, so they took Jesus and led him away. Brothers and sisters, look at me. When Israel again rejected the king, our Lord Jesus Christ, they rejected the kingdom of God. Jesus foreseeing this spoke in Matthew 21 43 that the kingdom shall be removed from you and they said let his blood be upon us and our children even until this day the curse goes on for Pilate said I am free from his blood. Innocent blood. They said let his blood be upon us. And our children. Self imposed curse. Very powerful. Many of you know about the holocaust. Nearly six million Jews were killed. Most of them without clothing. Shot and many of them with poisonous gases in halls. During the time of Hitler. So 
sad. If the kingdom of God which was offered and given to the people of Israel which is the natural olive tree <laughs> and when they rejected the gospel it came to us as Gentiles if it could be removed from them please understand if the church who is the church those who are called out if the cabinet people of the kingdom of god if the cabinet people of the parliament of heaven the believers the baptized children of god the blood washed okay if we are going to be neglecting the kingdom of god we are going to go about our business i got that to do i got this to do i got married and i have bought this and i have this work to do and i got so much of that so much of this the same thing god will repeat the kingdom the rulership the authority will be removed from those groups which are called church whatever the name does it title that they have they give that church this church whatever church the authority the rulership the dominion the kingdom is will be removed and given to somebody else who will produce what the fruits of it so i see there are so many churches i i, I say this not to put down anybody i say this with all my with you know with real i would say hurt in my heart most of the time the churches are like the people in the uh, ic ward with all kinds of wires coming out of them men they about to die most of the believers and others were just a little bit out but they are moving in their wheelchairs never been up they have not cast out one demon out of anyone probably they unconsciously they think that they will god will the lord will bring a certificate for them to attend they have been so faithful attending that church generation after generation oh my grandpa was the board in the board of this church and uh, we all generation children yeah generation only thing there is no life you have a name that you are alive jesus uh, the holy spirit said but you are dead what about the kingdom dead but the church is going on <laughs> the church is busy with its all programs oh yes nice chandeliers and nice uh, building with chairs and with names in the chairs am i telling the truth and yeah, the truth it's not not to put down anyone may the lord open your eyes to see what's happening to the church of god so if we are going to be that way when the authority is removed when the kingdom of god is removed all what we have is you know what religion without power and the holy spirit said through paul second timothy chapter 3 you find all these people they have gone inside flesh they are old type of living lovers of self lovers of money lovers of pleasures unthankful ungrateful oh unholy unforgiving disobedient to parents slanderers backbiters regarding whom he is talking about all these things backslided children of god mm -mm. you're not talking about the world having a form of godliness oh i am a christian is that so denying 
the power no anointing no kingdom business no authority ask yourself children ask yourself when is the last time the power of god left you i mean went through you hmm have you at least tried it i just want to try lord send me a case i don't know god sent me some cases at the very beginning all icu cases i'm talking of natural physically so i would lay hands on them and they will just look at me and say goodbye they went oh my god how many and i come back home and shamin will say another one yeah but that's okay god knows what's happening you do your job leave everything to him positive or negative you are called to go and heal the sick heal the sick if he dies that's not your business somebody comes and ask me why i would tell them ask the lord i don't know sometimes i found out that they really wanted to die they didn't want to live oh yes i don't want to get into that man now i want to come back to the point again if god could remove the kingdom of god from his own people whom he chose from the very beginning through a man called abraham the father of nations okay if he could remove from them because they rejected they neglected they they just saw oh, this is the temple the temple the temple the now they say this is our church our church our church our church our church god had to send jeremiah and said them go and stand at the gate and yell <laughs> he didn't say yell he said go and speak <sighs> tell them you had better change your ways if you're coming inside here don't just simply say this is the temple of the lord temple of the lord temple of the lord and you think that i will permit you to continue to stay over here no but if we are going to be the children i see so many believers they born again they born again they spirit filled okay they speaking tongues right fine they didn't do nothing no fruit nothing casting out demons laying hands on the sick huh? raising the dead ministries that includes the spiritual dead also the physical dead The raising of the dead the physical dead people is a natural ministry in the early church. That's quite natural in the kingdom of God. Now, so if we are going to neglect the rulership of the kingdom, listen carefully, just like the kingdom was removed from King Saul and given to David, he was just running about without anointing. There's so many believers will just run with the, with whatever they are calling there is no anointing nothing there is no authority there is no power one thing will be there in their heart shall i tell you frustration because when you know that you are a king when you know that you know all these things what god has taught you and that you are unable to bring those things into experience use the power of the name of jesus use the authority given to you and when you cannot do that guess what it's better that you are not known at all if you are not not known those things at all that day i heard from that sister suddenly she saw the cobra right in front of her room bedroom had no way that cobra can come in there no way absolutely no and he just coming and standing like that and i i just want to say this if it was me I would have just screamed and shouted for somebody. Help! Maybe you would have jumped off your bed and 
maybe it went through the window and she said you are waiting right there i will kill you in jesus name and that waited just there the move i asked what about a little no he just waited there took the big pole bang one on her head you devil come inside my room but she commanded she knew her authority do you have have you used it if you haven't when anything that is not used to the given by the kingdom if you don't use it we lose it so the people of israel they lost it they lost and he came to the gentiles which is called the church they came to us and if we don't use the authority if we are not going to live the kingdom life are you are listening that authority the rulership will be taken away from that church from that believer given to somebody else god will save somebody in some awkward village nobody they no electricity nothing god will go, just send somebody and save that person who is worshiping snakes and worshiping all kinds of dumb idols and fill them with the holy spirit and send them go and preach the gospel and they will go and they will say i bind you devil shut up and come out in jesus name they will go and use the authority jesus said i chose you that you may go and bring forth fruit that you may what go and the last command was go into all the world to all the nations no we like to sunday week we gather we like to see faces look chapter 12 are you still here yes. look chapter 12 31 and 32 but seek ye the kingdom of god and all these things shall be added to you do not fear little flock how oh, he's talking about his children and <laughs> the little flock okay not the big flock the little flock because the majority is going through the wide gate <laughs> the little flock is going through the narrow narrow path the, the 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 door is small and oh so do not feel little flock for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom hallelujah oh father god strengthen their spirits oh lord It is my father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. <laughs> You're not talking about church. I got to say this. Come on. We need to focus on the kingdom. It is my father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. You remember Herod talking to you know his, his wife is illegal wife Herodias and then her daughter was to dance for his birthday and then he said I will give you the half of my kingdom. and god gives us his kingdom whole not half quarter 75 no he says come on share my kingdom share my throne come on children let's work together you know we are playing churchianity no lord we going to sing songs to you oh my god see matthew 25 matthew 25 verse 34 This is after Jesus return and all the to the earth okay then watch this Then the king will say to those on his right hand May the Lord see us in his right hand even right now <laughs> otherwise trouble come you blessed of my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you 
from the foundation of the world inherit what the kingdom see that god is still talking about the kingdom and they shall rule with him forever and ever on earth not on mars not on the moon on earth hallelujah glory to jesus he is about to come at any moment this cannot go on this way but we need to produce the fruits of the kingdom and the holy spirit is asking you what are you doing when you have good health when everything is okay when you can walk about and travel about oh this is the time this is the time to bring forth the fruits of the kingdom you see the kingdom existed before the church <laughs> that my shock you that says enter inherit the kingdom of god which was prepared for you from when from the foundation of the world god prepared a kingdom and he said my sons and daughters will have to rule with me oh every one of them i'm going to enjoy throughout eternity blessed be your precious name i got one sister who is who is, who is receiving the word of god fully whole she said god hallelujah bless you huh. i should have been preaching looking at her all the time are you following this yes or no yes. go with me to this is one more scripture daniel chapter 7 oh this is good stuff eh no yeah it's good stuff for me I'm enjoying it. I am. Chapter 7 verse 27. Then the kingdom and dominion. Watch those words. <laughs> Time and again God is speaking about that. The purpose of man's creation is to have dominion. And to subdue the earth. To have dominion. Hmm. then the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high who are they the blood washed the children of god those who are passed from death to life from darkness to light and from the power of the devil into the kingdom of god the saints of god shall be given the kingdom His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion shall serve and obey him somebody shout hallelujah blessed be your precious name oh lord we acknowledge your presence over here holy spirit jehovah god you said i will live in them and walk among them we thank you for your presence i don't know how many of you believe that the holy spirit walks about in your midst <laughs> I'm just receiving a little light here and there. Walk the God who walks in your midst. Mm-mm. Most of the time we are not aware of. We're not. We 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 we, we just neglect him. We just uh, uh, unconsciously ignore him. And therefore we don't receive the impact of life every time we gather we have to expect miracles even at home on the way expect the miracle of god for the kingdom is within you so my brothers and sisters you know the fruits of the kingdom if we are not producing what's the use of the kingdom coming inside of us what is the use the holy spirit the father the son and the holy spirit why the authority has been given to us why what for i am telling you in the authority of god's word you have been just listening if you have received the word of god the word of god 
this evening i'm telling you even as you have been listening to this word this word has power to ch- ch- touch every cell every bone every art- artery vein everything penetrate and even dividing of the spirit and soul glory to the name of jesus oh my god and jesus finally said you know mark's last chapter chapter 16 from verse 16 and onwards these are the signs that will follow them that believe they shall cast out demons in my name they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover and they shall speak with new tongues for it was the holy spirit and it is the holy spirit who brings the new language of heaven into our lives the reconnection with the kingdom of god is now available by the coming of the holy spirit into the hearts of the children of god somebody say amen what are you going to fear what have you got to beg fight use your authority confess let the word of god be in your mouth maybe the tears will roll down your ears but you said no i will never be left alone no lord you said i will never leave you nor forsake you i will never leave you as often so the fruit bearing you cannot avoid god has given us the kingdom the church must move in the operation of the kingdom see the knowledge of jesus christ and receiving it believing it gets us into the kingdom okay but the abiding in the principles of jesus christ gets us into the operation of the kingdom one is entrance you believe and you receive you enter the kingdom now you got to act and obey in the principles of what jesus taught the secrets the keys of the kingdom hallelujah come on you have to rise and bear fruit God has called you God has spoken to you this word many have not heard others will hear it through a cd or through this when it will reach their hands i don't know you got it god wanted you to hear one to one may the lord ignite set a fire in your heart to bring forth fruit in his kingdom that want to thank you in your precious name for all your children who came thank you that your word has gone and delivered them set them free lord thank you that it has given them light even those who had uh, who, 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 who have been listening through this video in jesus name amen